Today we're looking at dilations and scale factor. Our goal is to determine the side lengths and perimeters of shapes after dilations have been performed. Our vocabulary today, pretty important. We have a transformation. This is an operation that changes a figure into another figure. It transforms the figure. We have an image that is the new figure created by a transformation performed on the original. A dilation is a type of transformation that either stretches or shrinks a figure. Think of inflating a balloon or a beach ball or an air mattress and then deflating it, stretching and shrinking it. That is a dilation. And finally, we have scale factor. It's a term you guys have heard before. This is the ratio of a side length after a dilation to its length before the dilation. The variable k is often used to represent scale factor. And since we're talking about ratios, we are looking at multiplication, always. So we're going to be looking how we multiplied to get from one length to the other. So let's try this out. We've got the original, the 10 by 6 rectangle. And we have the image, a 5 by 3 rectangle. Pretty easy to see what was done to get from the original to the image, which I have covered up here. There we go. So to get from 10 to 5, we divide it by 2. Now, as mentioned before, we're looking at multiplication. So it is the same thing to multiply by 1 half as it is to divide by 2. So we can say we took our 10, multiplied it by a half to give us 5. The same for the width. If we start off with 6, multiplied it by 1 half, it gave us 3. So we see we have 6 here and the 3 here, and the five, 10 here, and the 5 there. Therefore, we can say that our scale factor is one half. Very important guys, we are always going from the original to the image. Next, we're going to calculate the perimeter of each rectangle and describe the relationship. Our original triangle, the 10 by 6, well we know we've got, we add all the sides up, 10 plus 10 plus 6 plus 6, Okay, break it down more, 20 plus 12, a perimeter of 32 for the original. And now for our image, it's a 5 by 3. So add up all the sides, 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 gives us a perimeter here of 16. And if we notice, to get from 32 to 16, we get multiplied by 1 half. So the perimeter, the scale factor of the perimeter from one to the other is the same as the side length scale factor. Let's try this again, this time with a triangle. It's a different kind of question though. We say the original triangle is dilated by a scale factor of three. What are the side lengths of the image? And I apologize, it should be labeled better. Small one is the original and the large one is the image. We are dilating each side by a scale factor of 3. So let's start with this left side here. We just do simply 3 times 3 gives us an image length of 9. We do the base here. We take 5 times 3 for an image scale image side length, excuse me, of 15. Then we take the right side length Multiply that by the scale factor. Multiply that by 3. It gives us 21. Those are the side lengths of the image. And like our previous slide, we're going to calculate and compare the perimeters of each triangle. So we add up all the sides of the original. 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 5 makes 15. We add up the side lengths of the image. 9 plus 21 is 30, plus 15 is 45. How do we get from 15 to 45? Multiply it by 3. So the scale factor, again, of the perimeter is the same as the scale factor of the side lengths. That concludes your lesson. 
on dilations.